What do you guys think? Do you guys like living in San Diego? Yeah. Yeah? What's your favorite thing about living in San Diego? You don't know? No idea? That's a camera. That is a camera right there. So today we're going to talk about the cost of living in San Diego versus Los Angeles. And it's going to start right now. So, uh, first we're gonna talk about the size of the cities. Uh, San Diego is about 1.4 million people, but the county is about just over 3 million people. In Los Angeles, the um, city itself is about 3.9 million people, but the county is about 10 million. So, all in all, Los Angeles is about three times the size of San Diego. So Los Angeles is just a bigger city. So just keep that in mind when we're going through uh, all these topics. So the first one, cost of living. It's actually 8.2% more expensive to live in Los Angeles overall. But I'm gonna break, them, break that down a little bit and show you where it might be a little cheaper to live in San Diego for certain things and a little bit more expensive to live in San Diego for other things as well. So the first, we'll start with the big one. House prices. Uh, the median house price is 6.8% higher in Los Angeles than it is in San Diego. The median house price in Los Angeles is 689,000. In San Diego, it's 645,000. So not a huge difference, but you know, almost 7% difference in prices. If you're looking to rent, um, it's pretty similar as far as prices goes for that too. So like, for example, an average two bedroom apartment is about 2,393 per month. In LA, it'll be about 2,820. So it's about four to five hundred dollar difference in uh, in rental prices here for about the same type of unit. So just keep that in mind. Um, another thing that's pretty different in, in both cities, uh, sales tax. Uh, in Los Angeles, the sales tax is nine and a half percent. And it's actually higher in certain parts like Santa Monica. I think it's almost like 10%. San Diego, the sales tax actually is 7.75%. So it's almost a 2% difference in sales tax compared uh, Los Angeles to San Diego. So. Something to think about. Uh, property taxes are about the same in San Diego and Los Angeles. So the basis point is usually about 1%, but then there's some like bond fees and bond measures, all that sort of thing that goes into it. So a lot of times people will say you can use 1.1% or 1.25% uh, as kind of a rough estimate of what your property tax is will be. Uh, in San Diego and Los Angeles. Uh, Childcare, this is always a big topic of conversation. I have two little kids myself. One is already in uh, kindergarten, so that's actually free, which is fantastic. But if you have the little ones uh, in preschool or daycare, those prices can actually be pretty high um, throughout the country and definitely in California. So the average uh, price here in San Diego is $1,119 per month. Uh, for childcare, and um, in Los Angeles it's 1064 This is from the website Numbio, which I don't actually 100% agree with all these prices, but that's just what the number they came out with. We pay about, we actually do pay about $1,100 a month for an in-home daycare. But the preschool that my son used to go to was about $1,200 a month about three years ago. Now that same exact preschool went up 50%. So now if he would go there now, it would cost him about $1,600, $1,700 a month to go to the same preschool that my son went to three years ago. Just keep that in mind, the prices can vary. I would say anywhere between $1,000 to $1,800, depending on what school you're gonna choose for schools slash daycare. Um, both cities are pretty car centric cities. So you're definitely gonna have to worry about gas prices. I myself have an electric car, so I have a solar, so I don't have to worry about gas prices, but my wife has a, uh, a uh, Honda Pilot. So it's, I always, you know, we have to pay attention to gas prices. And for the most part, they're very similar. Uh, we're only two hours away from Los Angeles. So a lot of these prices are probably gonna be similar type uh, value. So the average price in San Diego is $3.53. The average price in Los Angeles is $3.63. And this changes week to week, depending if it's summer, winter, or what's going on in the world. So just keep that in mind. As far as internet prices go, another thing that's pretty similar um, are internet prices. I think Los Angeles' is average is slightly higher than San Diego's. Los Angeles is about $63 a month for internet. Um, and San Diego was like $58 average. So I pay about $50 through AT&T right now, mostly because I call every every year and try to get my price down uh, if they try to raise it up. And you can always th threaten to switch and then they'll sometimes give you a little discount for a year or whatever it is. But you just gotta keep on top of it. But for the most part, you can usually get it between 50 and $60 a month. I also throw this one in there too as well, movie ticket prices. Uh, I'm a big movie goer. I used to work in the entertainment industry a few years back. And uh, the average movie ticket price in Los Angeles is $16.10. The average price here in San Diego is $14.12. Uh, 
I mean, it obviously depends on which theater you're going to, but that's the average price. So you might save about two bucks a movie down here in San Diego. Now the job market, another big topic for a lot of people just thinking about moving here. Like what, what kind of jobs are there? What kind of salary can you expect? The average salary in San Diego is actually $83,000 while in Los Angeles, it's $70,000. So it's about a $13,000 difference, which I actually thought it would be the other way around, but there might be less jobs in San Diego because it's a smaller city, but uh, Los Angeles is, you know, three times the size of San Diego. So more jobs, but they maybe they don't get paid quite as much, depending on the profession, obviously. But on average, San Diego is just slightly ahead. Uh, oh no, San Diego is just slightly ahead of Los Angeles on that front. I also found this actually pretty interesting that um, the millennial population in San Diego is number three in the country which I always I thought, again, I thought Los Angeles might have had a beat on that one, but 27% um, of the population in San Diego is the millennial generation. So that's always good for like growing the economy. It's nice to have a good young um, workforce to help grow companies um, as they, uh, you know, as, as they grow. Or Los Angeles isn't too far behind. They're at 25% of their population, which is ranks number 14th in the country. And number one and number two on the list, I believe is Provo, Utah, and then Austin, Texas, which is an obvious one. But uh, it was nice to see that San Diego is pretty high on that. And I guess San Diego is a very attractive place to be for young professionals as well. So one thing that Los Angeles definitely has San Diego beat is if you're looking to work in the entertainment industry, you're not really gonna be able to compete with Los Angeles on that front. Uh, that's kind of the entertainment capital of the world. Uh, it was actually ranked number one. And San Diego, I couldn't even find on any entertainment ranked lists throughout the internet. So if you're looking to work in the entertainment industry, Los Angeles is probably the place for you guys. Another big topic, I know we talked a little bit about transportation, but commute time. Uh, San Diego definitely has a Los Angeles beat on commute time. As you can imagine, Los Angeles is known for some of the worst traffic in all the land. So um, the average commute time in Los Angeles is 29 minutes, in San Diego it's 22 minutes, which I thought that gap would have been a little bit bigger because I used to live in Los Angeles and the traffic there is terrible. Um, but you know, it's about a, what is that, seven minute uh, difference in sitting in traffic. Um, also the walk score in Los, is actually higher in Los Angeles than it is in San Diego. So the walk score in Los Angeles is about a 68, in uh, San Diego is about a 53. So she thought the scores would have been a little bit closer or I thought San Diego might have been a little bit ahead because the downtown area of San Diego is very walkable. All the beach communities are pretty walkable, which I guess this is the same for uh, a lot of the Los Angeles beaches as well, but I mean, whenever you think of Los Angeles, everyone thinks about cars. Um, and the public transportation, not great in San Diego. We got the coaster goes up and down. Uh, they're building the little trolley line from La Jolla to downtown as well. So they are working on it, same with Los Angeles. They have the, the, the light rail that goes from the B, 4th Street in Santa Monica all the way to downtown now. So the cities are trying to increase the amount of public trans transportation that they have but both cities are a little bit lacking compared to the big ma major metros like San Fran, Chicago, Philadelphia, or New York. So, um, so that's it. That's kind of my overall um, recap of cost of living in, in San Diego versus Los Angeles. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you're looking to find out more information about San Diego, please check out one of my next videos right here. And if this is your first time to watch our channel, please subscribe to it as we try to post new videos every week. Thanks for watching. Bye. Check out this video too. Cool. Bye.